What's up, YouTube? Pete Town Piper here. Um, I know my channel says it's gonna it's supposed to be all about pipe smoking, but I just recently started to smoke cigars, so now it's gonna be just a straight up tobacco channel, cigars and pipes. Um, from the first video, I wanted to show off a couple of cigars I've been smoking my first couple weeks of smoking cigars that are pretty much the best bang for your buck that I've found. Um, both of these cigars are under five dollars and they're just very very enjoyable um, the first one is a ta tatuaje um, god I should have looked it up um, this is just one pretty much every guy at the cigar shop I go to there's a little lounge you know we all sit down and smoke cigars every guy there loves this cigar it's a great cigar for the price it's just got great flavor it's a great smoke it's a tatuaje it's a little guy you know, this is compared to like a, a lighter here, like a Dijit lighter. You know, those are like, sh you know, kind of short. So. And the other one is a Estillo Cubano. It's a Lancero. Got this kind of wrapper right here. Let's see if I can. Oh, yeah. You got the gold wrapper. Estillo Cubano. Lancero. And this is also just delicious, under five bucks. It's great. So yeah, those are the two cigars. They're just a great smoke for cheap. Right there. If you're a beginning smoker and you want to kind of get into cigars, um, they're not mild. You know, a lot of people say, oh, if you're going to start smoking cigars, only smoke mild. That's what I was told. Stay away from dark wrappered cigars. And, you know, the first two I smoked were light wrapper, Connecticut, mild cigars. They were all right. They were good. But these, you know, these are just so much better. If you're trying to get the full experience of a cigar, you know, this Tatuaje little guy is amazing. But also, too, um, this one's eight bucks. It's the Gran Toro. It's pretty big, you know, compared to this one. Let's see. It's, uh, let's see here, 152 millimeters by 52 ring gauge. I'm not sure how long that is. It's probably like seven inches. Six and a half. But anyway, it's the same length as the Lancero, but a lot fatter. But this is the Drew Estate Undercrown. And this is a great cigar. They have it in a smaller size, which I've had. Never had the Grand Toro. So I'm looking forward to that. Definitely. And I will be doing a review on all three of those when I smoke them. I'll probably be smoking this Tatuaje here in a minute and doing a review. But yeah, just wanted to show you guys those two cigars. Great bang for your buck. And I had to show off the Undercrown as well because that's just a fantastic cigar. It's uh, made by Drew Estate. Their Liga Bravada um, is a. It's like. It stands for uh, Made for the King, Liga Bravada. And this is the Liga Undercrown, which stands for Made for the Prince. So this is just under the Liga Bravada Undercrown. So yeah. There you go. P Town Piper signing out. Sweet smokes, guys.